Good afternoon, YouTubers. So it's a beautiful day here in Ohio. It is actually March 3rd, and I am heading up to Urbana. Most of this video is going to be about the Traveler 6000 that we're going to, but uh, we're going to take you on the Champ, and I'm going with my friend Nancy. So here we go in the Champ. Have fun. Alright, uh, so we made it here to the Mid-American Flight Museum, the northern part of it. So uh, this is the Traveler 6000 that they've been working on for like two years, year and a half, something like that. <laughs> Three years. And the last video I've done, there was like no covering on it. And they were doing a lot of work interiorly uh, on the wings and also the fuselage. And now you guys can see that there's covering on the fuselage, the wings, and there are actually some dope and things stabilizer, elevator, rudder, and fin. So they've got a lot of progress done. They actually, I've seen video or pictures where the airplane was fully assembled in here. It looked amazing. I am mixing some paint. We're getting ready to paint the elevator for the travel air. And so it gets this beautiful orange from AirTech polyurethane. It's just a beautiful paint. It does a real nice job. One cross coat is all it's going to take, and it'll, it'll cover beautifully and does a real nice job.
right, so I finally got uh, Doug Nero down here after he finished painting uh, some of the elevator. But Doug, you want to give us an update on this Traveler 6000? Sure. We are uh, we're, we're making really great progress right now, and, and things are really, you know, you get to this stage of the game, and things start to go together really fast. So we have almost everything covered. There's just a, a wing strut left to cover, a couple of the small struts here. But we've got all the fabric on the fuselage. We finished that last Friday, put the last piece on. It has shrunk to 350. So now we're going to start putting all the surface tapes and everything that we need to do on the fuselage. Um, we've had the entire airplane together. So if you, if you would have been here two months ago, we had the engine on. All the cowling um, on the airplane was on. We made all new cowling for it. We punched some louvers in it. It turned out fantastic. Has the, the, the fold open doors just like a Model A Ford. Um, hood does and has Model A Ford latches mm -hmm. that holds the cowling horse closed. So it turned out great. So we had the whole airplane together before we started the, the final fabric push on it. And um, now it's just cover and paint. Yeah. Well, I, I noticed you guys have the uh, Model A uh, window yep. door handles. Yep. And then uh, lights. There's Model A dome lights. Yep. Three of them down the inside of the cabin. There's the, the Model A handle. Um, on the window cranks and the regulators, so inside you can't see them, but that's Model A. Um, okay. So there's a there's a lot of Model A Fords in the Traveler. Oh man, well, um, pretty awesome. I know it's a lot's been done since you guys seen the last videos. A lot has been done. Uh, I haven't been here at all since COVID started, so it's been well over a year. And uh, Doug was mad at me because I haven't been here in a while. We've I've, missed you. Yes, <laughs> I miss them. So I miss you guys. Um, but yeah, you guys done a lot of work and it looks great. Um, what do and you mean we, by it? And we recovered a, a Stinson tri-motor wing in the middle of all of it. Yeah. You know what? I'll show you guys that Stinson tri-motor. I actually go shoot a little bit of video on that. But a little technical. What do you, you said uh, you shrunk it down to 350. What does that mean to a, a person that doesn't know what you're talking about? Okay, so the fabric we put on the, on the Traveler is Seekonite 102. Okay. And it's a, it's a synthetic material. When the airplane was made originally, they used cotton. So we, we don't use cotton anymore. It doesn't last as long. It's a lot harder to work with. It's even hard to find cotton nowadays that, that will last. And so we use Seekonite, and we, we glued it onto the frame right. with, with approved fabric cement that comes with the SDC. And initially, you, you heat it to 250 degrees, and you, you literally you use a standard household iron. Okay. We calibrate it, make sure we know where 250 is, and that's the initial shrink, and that makes the, the, the fabric tight. Okay. And then we, we, sh we heat it again at 300, and it, the final is at 350 degrees, and that gives the Seekonite its maximum tightness. Okay. If you get over 400 and 425, it starts to lose some of that tightness, so you definitely don't want to get it too hot. So 350 is about as far, but, but if you go up and tap it right now, it's like a drum. Okay. So and that's what you want for your fabric on your airplane. You want it nice and tight like a drum. That's right. You guys hear him talk about 350. So he's talking about the heat that he's putting on the fabric to get it to shrink down and get the right tautness yeah. that uh, they're looking for. He is a, you know, if you guys don't know Doug, grand champion at Oshkosh Antique, what, three years ago? Uh, four years ago. Four years ago. Four years ago. Yeah. And he's built a number of grand champion type aircraft, so it's really fun to see this airplane. You want to give us a quick walk around? Sure. All right. I'd be happy to. All right. So one one of the things that's that was so exciting here uh, about two weeks ago, we put our first piece of fabric on the side of the airplane. Now this has been one of the, the huge challenges. It doesn't look like much, but this entire structure underneath here is steel tubing with wood forms formers around it and when the airplane flew in it, it was together and and as we started the process we realized that it had not been restored last time originally it was a working airplane for the johnson flying service when it was last rebuilt you know this was gone through they didn't care about originality they, they needed it to fly to make money so there we couldn't find drawings for the wood structure of the airplane and we, we've got one picture from the factory in 1929. And if we get a chance over there, do you take a shot of it? And that gave us how this went back together. And so, you know, for the longest time, we had strings up here, we had lasers, and we did a, we, we just quite frankly did a lot of, yeah, I, I think that looks right. But it wasn't until about two weeks ago we put the fabric on, 
we shrunk it. And then we all slapped each other on the back because it's right. And it looks fantastic. And uh, the team just did an incredible job. The stringers, you know, they start, start here. The, the middle one goes all the way to the tail. The other stringers back there. You know, the, the window frames, just the whole, if you, if you start here and take your eye, it's just one long gentle curve all the way to the tail. And that's what we were shooting for, and um, we hit it. So we're pretty excited about that. These are the horizontal stabilizers. Now you'll notice this is kind of a cream color uh, paint, if you will. It's a primer. And we're using the AirTech process on the Travel Air. There's lots of different uh, paint systems out there and, and fabric processes that you can use. Superflight, Stewart, AirTech, uh, Polyfiber, of course. You can still use um, dope on it. AirTech is my preferred choice. Everybody has their, their preferred choice and reasons why, but I like the AirTech process. It just gives us a really, really nice uh, finish. So um, these are the horizontal stabilizers. So we've got students that come in every day from, from 12 to 2.30, and they've been sanding um, on the horizontal. And you'll, you'll notice it's, it's flat in the middle, it's still shiny on the tapes. So what, what we do is we let them sand in the middle. And, and us guys who are a little more experienced, we'll sand the tapes down because we can, you can mess something up there pretty easily. So, so here in another few days, these will be ready to shoot orange. And um, we go along here. Here's our engine underneath the, the blanket. So we've got it back sitting here on the floor on the pallet, covered up. But, but there it is. 440 horsepower, right? 975. Caleb out at Radial Engines that we took this out to them a couple years ago. They went through the whole engine and, and just made sure everything was right, fixed anything that needed fixed. And um, so they did they did a great job. Here's some of the, the cowling I was talking about. Our, our shelf of parts. Here, here's an example. So this is the right side door and it gets hinged up here at the top. The, when, this comes into the, the window frame up here. And it, it opens, you know, just like a just like a door does. We have these louvers punched in the side of it, and these are the Model A Ford hood latches that hold it all together. This is the, the left wing. So today we we painted orange in the paint booth. Tomorrow we're going to roll this in there and shoot it with primer. So this is about a 23 foot wing. So it is huge, <laughs> and so it'll take Bill and I both painting. And we'll put two coats of primer on it tomorrow. We'll let it set for a day or two, sand it. It'll get two more coats of primer, and then it'll be ready for launch. These, these are part of the struts for the fuselage. And uh, Jim and Dan, I've, I've talked about these guys before, but they made... Dan is a, a pilot for JetBlue, and he has a 3D printer in his basement. And they 3D printed the, the sanding forms in order to get these airfoils right. This is brand new balsa wood that is glued onto the struts, and they they sanded this using those 3D sanding blocks. And just just an incredible job. <laughs> we have our, our two ailerons are completely done. We I painted those uh, two days ago. So they're just kind of sitting over here doing their final cure out, but it, it, it turned out great. You can see the flow out on the, on the paint is beautiful and um, nice gloss to it. Gorgeous. This is the right wing. We just finished covering it a couple days ago, and um, if it goes well later this afternoon, we'll start rib stitching this. But definitely tomorrow morning, we'll start rib stitching, and then get that wing in the in the booth to paint. So that'll be a fun project. This will this will go fairly quick. It's a big wing, but the but the uh, the spacing is is just a little over three inches on the rib stitching. So it's it's nothing like the the uh, Stinson. Big wing with one inch rib, you know, rib spacing. So, so when we got done with the Stinson, Larry counted the stitches. There were 3,416 knots that we tied in that wing. Is that a good summary? That's a good it. That's good. <laughs> okay, battery's about to go dead, so we're going to call it quits. Hope you guys like the update of the Traveler 6000. See them on Instagram. I think you guys are on Facebook. Facebook, yep. yep. American Flight Museum. Check out everything here, and, and boy, there's a lot of stuff going on down in Texas. Oh, yeah. It's awesome. Yep. So, thanks, Doug. You bet. All right. See you guys.